Today is October 6, 2022, and we are ready to meet real. We have this set up. The cart, our bags, vanity's clean, everything's clean and ready. We're ready to go. I'm getting a C-section in a few hours. It's... four thirty nine. And we should be on the road already. Um, surgery is at 7.30. Let's see what happens. I'm scared. <sighs> We're ready to meet you. Today I'm 39 weeks exactly. He decided to flip last minute, so his head's up here and his butt's down here. So now we gotta get him up. Don't mind me not having pants. We're back from the hospital. It's 8.40. And the appointment for the C-section wasn't until 11, so we have to be there at 9. They got mixed up until 7.30, but it's at 11. And at first they told me 11, and they said 7.30. So we went. I was like 5 in the morning. <clears throat> we came back to sleep. Because we're like, we're not going to be comfortable there. So we came back anyway. I'm gonna do a last look see at our house. Um, just to show you. We painted this finally. It used to be a half wall. It used to be white and then half like yellow and then yellow. And that was so annoying. Anyways, very fall right now. Just got my little skeletons. Some decor. We got memers. Memers. I switched her. That's her little bed. It's a box with a bunch of blankets. I even give her a privacy screen. And yeah, I switched her cat treats over here. I actually like it more. And the sleeves run for like recycled laying in boxes and we have to throw that out and then put these away but right now we got too much going on you know and then couch I the same over here I put this right now since we're leaving Lux for about three to four days we don't really know how long we're gonna be gone get her a lot of food if we're there longer than we like three or four days, then we'll come back. Well, Montreux will come back and make sure she has food. And then that's my cardigan. I'm gonna wear to the hospital. This is what this looks like right now. We got that change. They used to be like a big yellow, bulky conditioner, and now they changed it to a different one that actually works. And let's see, the kitchen's still a disaster looking, but right now we cleaned it. Bottle station's gonna be right here. But yeah, Soul's favorite toy, her grandma. Alright, well, this is our bathroom. Can you take out the bathroom trash one last time before we leave? Yeah. In our bedroom one last time. Look 
how nice and pretty it looks. Don't mind me, I'm not wearing pants. <clears throat> Our photo. Oh, okay. We're gonna go. We're gonna be actually late. He's almost out, baby. He's almost out. He got this. He got this. Don't be scared. He's, everything's fine. He's almost there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. So they're going to take him right over there, and then you'll be able to go over there. Yeah, sit for a minute and then hold. Oh my god. No, it's okay. He's going to go over to the warmer, Dr. Belmonte. Yeah. Look at that chunk! Okay. He's, he's a good size here. Oh my god. What's your guess on the weight? Look, I got his first bucket. Nine pounds. That's his butt. Yeah. What's your guess? Look at that. Oh my god. How much do you think he weighs? Look at that. Look left. Look left. Doctor's gonna check him and then they'll tell you when to come over there, okay? Okay. Oh my god. He did it. He did it. You're gonna put the baby right next to mama. Can you put some pictures? He's beautiful. Good job, mama. <laughs> yeah, Papa now. I have a Papa. <laughs> Rio is in the world. Oh, thank you so he is now Earthside. <laughs> Pumpkin patch. He's literally perfection. I have a feeling his favorite color is going to be orange. That's no one's favorite color. <laughs> Dark green, orange. Dark green. He's already breastfed like three times. He's seven pounds, fifteen ounces, almost eight pounds. Yeah. Okay. And I am eating food barely. It's like seven something PM and the last time I ate food was eight PM yesterday. Anyways, I have this, like, what's it called? Um, apple, crispy, I don't know, apples, right? With cinnamon, granola bar, and whipped cream. It's good. But they gave me a chicken pasta, and it's, eh. And that's all I've had to eat all day. They gave me a liquid diet earlier, but it's literally, there's like a tiny bowl of chicken broth. And apple juice. It was just eh. Well, these apples are like the best thing I've eaten today. But honestly, it was all worth it. For this boy right here. Tomorrow, I'm going to take some cute pictures of him. Yeah, we're here until Saturday, and today is Thursday. So, two more nights, and we get to go home.
most likely. Uh, my C-section was traumatizing. Um, it got delayed by like two hours. Yeah, about two hours. Um, because I had two other emergency C sections right before me. Uh, very unexpected, and there was chaotic energy and on the labor and delivery floor. So yeah, I just waited. We waited. The anxiety built up, and then I relaxed because I was bored and. We're like, get this, let's get this over with. But then around 1 o'clock, like 1.15, we were already on the way to the operating room. And then the moment they put the epidural uh, to numb me, I just started bawling. Like, I don't know, it just all hit me. And I started crying and bawling. And the nurses were like, you're okay, you're fine. I'm trying to calm me down. And then they laid me down, and then I was just, like, laying there naked. They're, like, fully exposed. It's cold. My legs are numb. They put, like, this sheet over on top of me at some point that's warm, so that feels good. But besides that, everything else terrifying. My body starts shaking. I start crying. I felt like I was having a panic attack. They put oxygen, and then... Um, they were like slow deep breaths it was just like it was so chaotic and I was overstimulated I was crying I was scared and uh, they put the sheet and then they brought munchies in he was gone the whole time that they were prepping me it was so scary uh, slowly and slowly I could feel my legs less I couldn't move my toes and eventually I couldn't feel anything down there they started poking, and it was just such a weird experience. Because you're like, they're, you're going to feel pulling and tugging. And I was like, okay, that doesn't sound so bad. But then when it got to that, oh my god, I was crying. I was like, kind of delirious, kind of like, I don't know. They told me I was saying a lot of stuff, and I was, because they had to keep drugging me more. Since I was like, it hurts, it hurts, like, when is it over, like... It was just really bad. And I felt like maybe it was just a me experience, but apparently it's normal to be like hysterical during a C-section because man, it's scary and it, the pressure is just like, it is painful. Like, if they say you don't feel any pain, that's just ridiculous because you do. I felt pain. Like, I didn't feel like like a knife inside of me pain but I felt like someone felt it felt like someone heavy was sitting on top of me pain and apparently I hemorrhaged at some point but I don't know when at what point that that was they told me afterwards um so I'm just about to be here healthy with baby boy it was all worth it the cut then the surgery scar it does hurt, but I'm on drugs right now. <laughs> I'm on medication. So, I don't want to imagine what it feels like without pain medication. And tonight I'm going to take a Benadryl. And hopefully fall asleep for a while. Because I have itching from the anesthesia. So, it's like a side effect apparently, so... Yeah, crazy, crazy experience. Um, I would not want to do it again. Ever. Like, C-section moms, you're brave. You're amazing. And damn, that was scary. Like, that was so scary. Munchies was just there, like, telling me, you're okay, it's almost over. Like, blah, blah, blah. At some point, the doctor's like, I can give you... Uh, something that's gonna make you f um, feel way less but you're gonna forget you're gonna forget all of this and I'm just like in that moment honestly they told me I had 15 minutes left and I was like 15 minutes right now sounds like a literal hell eternity so I'm like thinking like maybe I do want it like maybe uh, forgetting I don't care but it was just the pain the anxiety was so much 
Um, but Montrese was like, you know, you can do it, you can do it. Like, you're almost there, you're almost there, we we got this. And honestly, it felt like an eternity, but I, I got through it. Because, yeah, I didn't want to forget it. So I didn't, like, ask for it. But, yeah, I'm glad I didn't for, um, want to forget it. Because I heard the cries, I he came, they put him next to me. Um, it was so cute. He calmed me down immediately. Like, the moment he put his skin on me. I felt like this wave of calm and like it was worth it and watching Monchi's like tear up the moment he like saw him come out of me it's just like a crazy experience and now we're gonna be parents and I can't wait to start our journey especially go home with him have Lux and then have Soul meet him I'm excited. He's so precious. I I can stare at him all day long. All day long, I can just stare at him. There's I haven't put on TV nothing like. I just want to watch him. But yeah, he's perfect. <laughs> and now I'm waiting for my mom and my tia to get here and people to meet him. You know, they're the only people that are gonna come today because it's late. And then more people will come tomorrow, so I'll be vlogging. But yeah. I'll be back. Está bonito. Mira la güey. Tiene tiempo que no crío. Pues mira, mira qué mal cabellar. Qué bonito, mira amor, ¿qué te parece a ti? ¿Sí? Y no tiene de los dos. A ver, permito. Oh, ¡Ay! Uy, la pata como está de grande. Qué tan bonita, hombre. Mira. No te parece a Ramón. ¿Verdad? Sí, sí, con mi pelo, lindo. color de pelo. Sí. Bueno, y los tienen en cueral. ¿Por qué los tienen de nuevo? ¿Cuándo? Porque sí. los tengo que poner en mi piel. Ay, qué lindo. Hasta mañana lo he visto. Pues ya está criado. En la foto se ve más morenito, es que está, está colorado. Está rojo. Está rojo, Cuando lo vi, estaba morado. Y luego, al rato, estaba como... Rojo. Brown. No, estaba café. Cambió como el café. Y luego, está colorado. ahora está, está pink. Rojito. Pero siento que va a estar blanquito, ¿no? Yo digo sí, que porque sí, porque se puso rojo. rosita. Sí, yo creo que sí. Va a estar como Adi. Rosita está Adi. Ajá. Ay, qué lindo. Ah, pero no nos va a una picha. Aquí, <ríe> aquí siento un son. Ay, por lo que me gustan los bebés. No, sí. ¿Y qué nació en el mes de Halloween? Nació en Halloween. Ya casi. A ver. El niño de la familia. Mi stompy más así. Ahora te retrato. Qué lindo. ¿Cuánto pesó? 7 siete, siete libras con 15 onzas. Me, una onza más y ya iba a ser 8. Mira, Adi. Yeah. Dicen que se le cae. Sí. A ver, no tiene hoyito como su mamá. Sí, sí, sí. I don't know if I'm pink or what, but I can feel es myself que está sí. okay. Ya, se desacomodo. Ahí está. We have another nurse. Oh, we have another shift nurse. Oh, she came into the Cat room. or carry or whatever. Okay. Cat or carry, um. ¿Ya eres abuela? Un poquito grandecita. Uh -huh. Ya era hora, dile, me acaba de estar. <risa> no se vaya a Sí le quedó. A ver, mijo, ven aquí. Con tanto. Mira, 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 m